There was a startling headline today about 7-Eleven. Federal officials raided more than a dozen locations in a massive immigration bust, arresting store managers for running a modern-day plantation system to exploit immigrant employees. Even more stores are being targeted now, and ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has the details. It's one of the most familiar storefronts in America, but instead of a big gulp, today many 7-Eleven employees and customers got a big surprise. Nine store owners and managers arrested for running what the feds are calling modern day plantations, harboring and exploiting illegal immigrant workers who were given stolen identities, forced to live in cramped boarding houses, work 100 hour weeks, and paid for just a fraction of their time. The franchise owners that we have charged were engaged in a pattern of fraud and worker exploitation. In all, 14 7-Elevens raided, 10 on Long Island in New York and four in Virginia. Employees were threatened when they complained, which was rare, with the threat of deportation, with the threat of job loss. Uh, it was a, a terrible environment for these employees uh, and they were ruthlessly exploited. Federal officials say they were tipped off by employees to exploitations going on in some cases for more than a decade. Many of those arrested from Pakistan, threatening workers from their home countries who had overstayed visas with deportation. The employees allegedly using stolen identities, ranging from that of a Coast Guard cadet to an eight-year-old child. In a statement today, 7-Eleven says it's cooperating with authorities and will take aggressive actions to audit the employment status of all its franchisees' employees. And tonight, federal authorities tell ABC News they are looking into 40 additional 7-Eleven stores in seven states across the country for possible fraud. And if convicted, these people could face up to 20 years in prison, George. Oh, a real dilemma for 7-Eleven. Okay, Rebecca, thanks very much.